welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Claiborne, and I want to introduce you to my new truck. So in the beginning of my last video, I had mentioned that I detailed our Jeep. Uh, that was the Jeep that we would drive together. And I guess it looks so good, my husband decided to trade it off. But if you remember, I did make a video on why country life and Jeeps don't mix. And there were several reasons um, that I have for not wanting my Jeep anymore after we moved to the country. Uh, the main reason was the flat windshield because rocks tend to crack uh, Jeep windshields more often than say a windshield that's leaning like this where it actually can bounce off. And so even though we would carry windshield insurance, it's still kind of a pain to have to actually take your vehicle in and have that done. So we won't have to deal with that anymore. Also the Jeep, uh, the top is very heavy and bulky. It was a hard top and it does take two people to remove that top, which we didn't do. I think we did it one time. We never took the doors off. They, the way they sit on the hinges, um, it was just really difficult to, to get those doors on and off. It just wasn't worth the trouble. The tailgate swung way out, and so I'd have to always be conscious of where I was parking. I had to make sure I was parked in the back and not up in the front because if anybody pulled in too close, I couldn't get that tailgate to swing out all that way. And another reason was the carpeting. Uh, in the country, all you want is just bare bones. I have definitely turned my husband into an anti-carpetite. Stop it, BP. He's playing with the tripod. I've turned my husband into an anti-carpetite. We're out here in the country and we're traipsing in and out from outdoors all the time. And so carpeting um, is just something you have to vacuum to us. And we would rather just be able to sweep dirt out the door. And so that's what we can do now in our house and in our vehicle. So that's really awesome. So now Bo can ride around with me. There is no back seat. This was a utility vehicle. Um, but if I put a big thick uh, doggy bed in the back uh, floorboard, Bo can ride anywhere with me. And I don't have to worry about all that dog hair getting in the carpeting. Also the seats in this are just wiped down. So again, spillage doesn't matter. I can just wipe the seats back off, uh, wipe the floorboards off and I'm good to go. And I love that. There is no big tailgate to swing out. There's just the, the normal size tailgate that just lowers down. It does have a weird um, toolbox type thing on the back because it was a utility vehicle. Well, and we are gonna sell that and he's gonna get me a very, very simple uh, shell to put on the back. Um, I'm super excited about that. So uh, I did name it Dirty White Boy. Uh, it's gonna be my primary vehicle. So to give it a girl's name just really didn't feel right. And I am a huge Foreigner fan. So and that is one of my favorite songs. So Dirty White Boy just really fit. Something I'm gonna miss about driving a Jeep is the sense of community. Um, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in the US, um, we play this game called Duck Duck Jeep. Um, and so it is customary when you see a Jeep in the parking lot to leave a little rubber ducky of some sort uh, in the handle or sitting on the hood or under the windshield wiper, uh, just as a way to say, uh, thanks for supporting the Jeep community. Here's your little duck and uh, we love you. And also Jeep drivers always wave at each other when they pass, um, but I do live in the country now. And so uh, everybody waves. <laughs> You wave at everybody, you get tired. It's, it's like being in a parade all the time. Even your normal people you see 20 times a day, you still throw a wave too, so. So, um, yeah, so I'm super, super excited to have Dirty White Boy in my life and I wanted to introduce him to you all and say uh, nothing against the Jeep community. Um, it's been swell. My husband still drives his old Jeep. He'll never let go of that old thing. But I am so thrilled to just have a truck that I can slide straw and and bales of uh, straw, bales of hay, sacks of grain, all two befores, anything. We don't have to hook up the trailer anymore. Uh, the pond birds are having a conniption fit. I don't know. So anyway, I <laughs> know it was weird. So anyway, uh, all I have to do is sweep out the back end. It's so super easy. No more carpet. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you here and go see what in the world's going on down at the pond. So love and light. Blessed be.